morning uh, <laughs> which is just uh, making me very smiley uh, so uh, it's Saturday today uh, this vlog is going to tell you uh, a bit about what happened yesterday in the end uh, we had eight uh, turkeys hatch uh, which I'm really pleased about I moved them into the little nursery pen in the stable uh, yesterday evening uh, a few had already gone in but the last two went in yesterday evening uh, and they're all doing well uh, except for one uh, which this morning was not doing well at all uh, it got very cold uh, so I picked it up and, and held it in my hands and tried to warm it back up uh, and I thought well, I'll pop it back in the incubator because that was still on and then I realised that actually I'd turned it off about an hour beforehand hey ho uh, I could always pop it back on and warm it back up and then we had a power cut uh, so there was none of that and uh, and that little turkey didn't make it so uh, so we got seven which is uh, still way more than we expected uh, and a lot of yesterday I spent well, clearing weeds from various different places so I did some more layers of cardboard and wood chip uh, in the orchard and I've got two more squashes planted out there which I'm pleased about and I got the, the shears out the, the long handled shears you, you do this with and uh, they give you very good <laughs> very good muscles <laughs> we had a quite a lot of that of cutting down uh, stinging nettles because uh, my friend Kirst who lives up in Mid, Mid Wales uh, is a good good chicken woman well, I've been chatting to her a bit about the number of stinging nettles we've got here and she said chickens don't normally eat stinging nettles uh, when they're still well when they're alive uh, but if you chop them uh, and leave them to wilt and go a little bit dry and then give them to chickens they love them so I thought well you know that's very easy chicken treats because, <laughs> because we've got a lot of stinging nettles now <laughs> so, so yesterday I spent ages cutting down the stinging nettles today I'll get my gloves on uh, and put them into the chicken pens and see if our chickens will eat uh, nettle crisps if they will well that would just be marvellous they can have lots and lots of nettle crisps because there are a lot of nettles and then when Mr J came home from work we had a bit of lunch uh, and then we got back out into the garden and we finally cleared uh, the front garden <laughs> where the raised herb bed is uh, do you remember I did the roll up front garden uh, video a while back where I literally was just because there was a, a weed suppressing membrane I could literally just roll the weeds off the top of it uh, and I did two lots of that uh, and the last third I just hadn't managed to get done well we've finally done it uh, the last few bits that are just to pull out of out of the stones around the edge of the house uh, oh but what a relief and uh, it looks great and all I've got left to do uh, is put some wood chippings over the last bit of that and and then it's done uh, and tidied and then we'll see what happens next year in terms of weeds being on it but uh, at least it won't be uh, that solid mat of grass that we had this year uh, I'm sitting on a big trailer in our front garden uh, which our tree surgeon has left here for a couple of days uh, because he needs a space in his yard uh, and that's fine, not a problem the best thing is uh, this this big old trailer was absolutely full of wood chippings when he brought it here uh, and they're now in a, an enormous pile in front of me 
that is as wide as the trailer so uh, probably six feet wide and 10 or 12 feet long and about three feet high and this is and this is uh, the holm oak the evergreen oak uh, that he promised us that i'm going to bit by bit move uh, over that way uh, and, and put it in bays just outside the chicken runs and then in the autumn uh, when it's very wet and soggy uh, I can move it into the chicken runs and uh, put a really big thick deep layer in there and, and hopefully that will stop chickens having to uh, spend their time in a muddy boggy yucky mess so yesterday uh, turned out to be quite a successful day in terms of uh, clearing weeds, clearing spaces and just moving things along. At dusk we went out, um, picked the strawberries that had ripened during the day and we brought in almost five pounds of strawberries last night. It's a huge amount, uh, so today I'm going to prepare all of those and pop them in the freezer. And, um, and I have noticed that there's an awful lot more ready as well. It was just a quick vlog today, uh, let you know what happened yesterday. Plans for today include uh, some wood chip moving, uh, some baking, and a little bit of watching a rugby match on the television. And so, wherever you are in the world and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. I also hope you'll join me again tomorrow.